Number eight on my digital dozen is electronics everywhere, the internet of things. And you may be thinking I'm talking about my house, and in fact my house is very connected. All sorts of things in my house talk to the internet. But you too can have that capability, it's coming in a big way. The first one I want to talk about is this, it's the thermostat. Um, this was developed by the same people who put together the iPod. And it's a thermostat that does all the usual thermostat things, turns up the temperature, turns down the temperature, etc. Of course, it's Wi-Fi connected, which means that I can access it from work or anywhere I, uh, anywhere I have an internet access. I can change my temperature, I can see what the temperature is. It also has sensors in it, so it knows where people are in the room or not, and it can adjust the temperature accordingly. It will automatically figure out that on white weekdays I'm away, but weekends I'm not, and it'll change it after a period of time. It'll figure out your living habits and adjust the temperature accordingly. Um, next up is a light bulb. Now, this is an LED light bulb. We all heard about how they're much more efficient, etc. And it's rugged. You know, I can drop it on the table here. It's made out of plastic. It'll last for 50,000 hours. But that's not what's really exciting about this bulb. What's interesting about this bulb is it actually has an IP address. It has an internet address. So I can screw it into any light fixture and I can then access it. I don't need a switch. I don't need a, a remote control system with any smartphone or internet tablet. I can go in there and actually call up the address and say turn on, turn off, dim. If you put multiple in a house, you can actually adjust them and you can set up presets so you can adjust and design your own lighting. So that is, this is what happens when you put electronics and smarts right in the light bulb. Taking it one step further, this is the drop cam. Very simple little camera here. Uh, it's an IP camera. Uh, instructions for putting it together are dirt simple. No, everyone can do it. But this camera not only will record full color and HD and sound and detection of motion and everything else and send alerts, but it'll also record it for seven or 30 days depending on the program you subscribe to. So in the cloud, you can go back and review whatever happened to your house. And it's all done uh, virtually. You don't actually have to have a v DVR or anything else. Just plug it in uh, to your computer once, give it a name, and put it wherever you want. It'll start recording. Here are my keys. Attached to my keys are um, a little dongle here. Now, this actually links to my phone. So if the keys and the phone are separated, this thing will start beeping. Or if I uh, lose my keys, I can then set this off so I can find them again. Now speaking of my car, I happen to drive a BMW and it's a nice fancy car, but this will be available for many cars very soon. This car has a lot of capabilities, you might guess. Hundreds of microprocessors inside, but some of the more interesting ones are it has radar in the front, which will keep the car uh, from hitting the car, and, uh, keep alerting me whether I'm getting too close to a car in front, and actually it automatically adjusts the speed right down to stopping the car. It has cameras on the sides that will look down at the road and look at the white lines, and if I go across the lines it will warn me. Um, but it, more interesting than that, it also has an internet address. It has an email address. So if somebody wants to send me instructions, all they have to do is email the car its coordinates, and that will inter instantly be put onto my navigation system and, in fact, projected up onto my windshield using uh, the heads-up display. But the car is smart enough also to know, for example, if it's running out of gas, it will warn me I need to get gas, and it'll say, well, I know where you're going because it knows the GPS where I'm going. It knows where the gas stations are because it's internet connected and connected uh, all the time, and it will actually direct me to a gas station that has good gas prices. And by the way, for example, let's say it's lunchtime, it'll say, would you like to have lunch? And it'll give me a recommendation uh, based on uh, whatever I want, criteria, what I've liked before, Facebook, whatever, and it'll come back and say, by the way, there's a good restaurant, would you like me to make a reservation? This is the car doing it all by itself just because it knows where it is. Now, you might say that capability is only available in a fancy car like a BMW, but actually you can have it in your own car today. Here is a little heads-up display available at aftermarket. You just simply put it on your dashboard. I'll simulate it here by here's my uh, car dashboard, and you'll see it reflects the light from this onto here, and that can be connected to your smartphone, and that will give you your address, it'll give you your speed, direction, so a lot of that capability is available today. Finally, We've all been to a trade show or any kind of event. We all carry, you know, we all wear these badges that are around our necks that give our names, and we pass out business cards. That's really yesterday. What's happening today, this is actually a smart badge. If I have this badge and I meet up with somebody else and I tap the two badges together, they will automatically start vibrating, and it will actually transmit the information from badge one to badge two. So now I know that these two badges met. And it could be the same thing going to a booth. And it will know not only that they met, it'll give me the information about that person, it'll give me the location and the time that happened. So we're taking a simple uh, name badge, we're adding electronics to it, and all of a sudden we now have a new capability. This is what I mean by electronics everywhere. Because of the miniaturization of electronics and the ubiquity of Wi-Fi and other communications capability, these devices, which you think as mundane, normal devices, all now become smart and communicate, whether it's cars, light bulbs, thermostats, or simply a name badge. This is what's coming, and it's coming real soon.